When we came into this week in the NFL, I gotta tell you, I did not expect things to go the way they went. And now that we finished up, um, my God, what a Sunday we got. What a, what a week we got. We started on Thursday night with the Ravens just, they just didn't look good against the Dolphins. Or if we're talking Xavier Howard took a touchdown back, you know, uh, you know, for the Dolphins, I mean, I mean, you know, I think it was a scooping score. Just, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to the Ravens in this game. I really don't. And then, like, Sunday, there were several things that went completely wrong. Completely wrong. I, again, things I did not expect at all. Um, now, the Titans did beat the Saints. Um, it was a good game. I mean, the Saints, unfortunately, failed on, what, the two-point conversion at the end? Unfortunate there, but I mean the Titans, you know, they keep rolling. They're what eight and two now. They keep rolling. Uh, Bills take care of the Jets. That that's pretty self-explanatory. It's the Jets. But the first big problem here is the is the Lions and the Steelers tied. They tied. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No Big Ben, no Ben Roethlisberger. Remember that. Remember, there was no Ben Roethlisberger. Mason Rudolph came in. And this was just a comedy, comedy of errors. We're talking Lions missed multiple kicks. An extra point, a field goal. Steelers had three turnovers. Lions had none. This, is the, this was the perfect opportunity for the Lions to win a game. And it just didn't happen. One of the ugliest overtimes I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Like there was so there was so much wrong with this game that the way it ended is just peak Detroit Lions because they're still winless. Yeah. You got the tie, Lions, you got the tie, but that's it. It's a tie. This is truly terrible. Um, the Dol I mean, not the Dolphins, I already talked about the Dolphins. The Jags took on the Colts in a AFC South matchup. Um, I only caught the end of this game here, and, you know, the Colts were able to get it done in the end. They only went by six, but they got it done in the end, and they're back at 500, which is really weird sounding to me. Another big thing that happened was the Bucks got surprised by the Washington football team. We're talking Tom Brady through multiple interceptions. We're talking Chase Young tore his ACL in this game. We're talking Washington put this game away with an Army football type drive. You know you know them long drives that the Army does. It was that kind of drive that Washington put the Bucks away. And I was just sitting here completely shocked. Like what was going on here? I knew the Bucks were, you know, a little injured, you know, at points. But, I mean, I just didn't think it was like this. Like, Evans and Godwin are still in, but they didn't ha they didn't do particularly much. I mean, I mean, it was just crazy. But, I mean, man, it just didn't make any sense to me. I mean, I'm sitting here just sitting here shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm as shocked as you are. I thought the Bucks were going to, you know, take care of business against Washington. But I guess not. Here's another one that surprised me. The Browns, they they got they got smacked by the Patriots in a game I thought you know was going to be you know pretty damn good, but instead you got Mac Jones tossing three touchdowns on on these Browns. You got Brian Hoyer up in here throwing a touchdown too, and and, and Ramondre Stevenson he emerged this week. You know, we were wondering, you know, who, who who else is on the Patriots that can really stand out? And, and you know, this is one of the guys that emerged this week. Just this was this was crazy. Like I'm sitting here looking at these stats again and it, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. You know, Browns were one for eleven on third down. I'm uh, again. I, I didn't. Even, I don't think I even turned this game on. I was just. I was just shocked at the score when I saw it. You know, during speaking of which, how about them Dallas Cowboys? Why don't we talk about these Dallas Cowboys real quick? <laughs> how about them Cowboys? How about them boys? Who <laughs> boy? Defense on point. 
Dak on point. We're talking, you know, Dak pretty damn efficient. Like, that damn good out there. We're talking Ezekiel Elliott getting a couple touchdowns in. We're talking Dak got another rushing touchdown in. You know, he had three total. I mean, C.D. Lamb was just out there tearing up this Falcons defense. I mean, the Falcons, they had three points at one point, but that was it. That was it. What about the they they only scored three points in this game? Like it was in the first quarter, you know, seven to three, and then you know once the route started, it started. It was thirty six to three at halftime. I'm sitting here like oh 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 oh. That that that's unexpected. You know you you know Diggs got an interception too. You know he's got what eight and nine games. Yeah. Falcons are back under 500 where they belong. Should have been under 500 this entire season. You know, it is what it is. And the Cowboys made a statement against the Falcons. Like I, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think I, I saw this coming. I, I mean, like my goodness, complete domination. First complete game I've really seen from this Cowboys team. I only watched like the first quarter and a half, you know, once the once the route started, it started and it went on for the rest of that second quarter and it was just like, wow. That, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. You know what else is crazy? Cam Newton came back for the Panthers. I know, right? P.J. Walker did get the start, but Cam Newton came back scored two, scored two touchdowns. One of them was a rushing touchdown, too. And, I'm, and again, I'm just sitting here like, what happened? What happened to the cards in this game? Like they got shut down. I know, I know, they're, I know, uh, you know, a lot of guys are out. You know, DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler Murray are still out. But I just didn't think. I didn't think it was going to be like this. I didn't think it was going to be like this. My goodness, my goodness, man. Um, Vikings beat the Chargers in a game. I'm really surprised that too. You know. You know, Vikings and Chargers had a really close game. You know, Kirk Cousins played pretty well. Dalvin Cook was doing nice. Um, you know, Herbert played an okay game. But, I mean, I'm just sitting here surprised that the Chargers are 5-4 and four right now. And, you know, it just it just doesn't make any sense to me that the Chargers are 5-4. We know this team is... You know, a very good team and uh, I'm just I'm just I'm just shocked I'm just shocked and I, I kind of didn't I, kinda, I don't think I watched this game at all yes I only caught the end when the Vikings were about to kneel it out with like two minutes and 30 something seconds to go and I mean I, I'm just sitting here like oh wow Vikings won a game shocking shocking stuff in Russell Wilson's return Things did not go well for the Seahawks. Did not go well. I mean, two bad interceptions. The snow came in to Lambeau Field. You know, you got Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I mean this game was just rough. This game was just rough. He, he threw a pick too, Aaron Rodgers did. The only guy that really shined and has been kind of underrated, another underrated Packers running back. I know, I know. AJ Dillon, the only guy that really shined in this game. You know, I'm, I'm just sitting here like, what what is this game supposed to be like? And here's another thing too, like I, I've been noticing they've been they've kept sent, they've been CBS has been continuing to send my boy Tony Romo, my quarterback, my old quarterback, to these to these games that just are just not good. Like this was not a good game here. Not a good game. Not an intriguing matchup at all because of the way the Seahawks season has been because of what the Russell Wilson injury did to this team. And, and, I mean, the Packers, you know, they've been still dealing with all sorts of stuff themselves. But, I mean, they got the win. The Packers got the win. It was an ugly win, but a win's a win. And another result that I'm really surprised is that the Eagles beat the Broncos. I, I really thought the Broncos were going to get a clean sweep of the NFCs, but no, no, that didn't happen. No, 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 no. It did not. We're talking. We're talking. The Eagles just whooped up on the Broncos. I'm sitting here just like, what? What is going on here? Like the defense was on point. 
Teddy Bridgewater didn't do anything in this game. Nobody on the on the Broncos did anything in this game. But the Eagles just flat out dominated. I'm sitting there just like, is, is the Broncos going to stop the run? Broncos going to stop the run. No, they're not going to stop the run. They're not going to do anything. I, 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 I don't know. Uh, again, like the the results of the NFL again this week have just baffled me in ways that I could not predict. And then, you know, later that night, you know, like about like an hour after, you know, all that nonsense with the Eagles, the Broncos, the Packers, and the Seahawks, and 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 the Cards, the Panthers, those three games that ended up being blowouts, we got another blowout in, in the in the in the Chiefs. And you know, and you know what, the Chiefs. They're back atop the AFC West. Just like that. Just like that. Remember when they were at the bottom of the AFC West? They're back at the top again. Like, they dismantled the Raiders. Like, I don't know what was going on. I thought this was going to be back and forth at first. But then, you know, the Travis Kelsey show started. Patrick Mahomes was playing efficient. Tyreek Hill's out there doing things. The defense. You know, was finally getting their groove back. You know, Daniel Sorensen was playing nice out there too. You know, in this game, and I'm just sitting here like, okay, okay, the 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 Chiefs, they are not dead yet. They're not dead. They're still a force to be reckoned with. Whoo boy, it's just been a it's just been a long few weeks for Raiders. Just been a long few weeks for them. And it's like I, I don't I don't know what, I don't know what to say I really don't know what to say like this was just horrid defensive performance it feels like the offense just gave up at one point you know other, that's what other Twitter users were saying you know as, as I was Twitter reacting to this game you know alongside other Twitter users like the Raiders just gave up couldn't do anything at all and in a result that I'm just also shocked that that just finished up the 49ers. <laughs> they beat the Rams. They blew them out. They blew them out. What is going on here? What is going on? Jimmy Garoppolo, efficient. What is going on here? What is going on? What is going on in this game? What what is going on in this great NFL game we have going on here? What what is what is going on? I I really I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy how things have been this year so far. Like, I don't think I expected the bl the blowouts we got. I don't think I expected this tie we got. And, again, I, I mean, I'm just sitting here just as shocked as you are at the way this week played out. The NFL's proving that they that they wanted some of that college football chaos to come over to the pros, too. Because, I mean, every single week has been nonstop insanity in, in some way and and I mean I mean come on I, I guarantee you week 11 is gonna be just as surprising I mean you look at the games for week 11 and you know there, there's gonna be there's gonna be something there's gonna be something there that's just like what what is going on here we'll, we'll find it all out we'll find it all out together on Thursday afternoon, well, like Thursday evening, it'll be like dark by the time I record the video, probably either very dark Thursday or like very dark Wednesday night, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for, you know, the games as I'm looking at them here on the phone here. Can't wait for these games on, you know, next week to get into, you know, the latter portion of the season. We're in the latter portion of the season. And, you know, I, I genuinely don't know what to take away from this. Like, the expectations that have been set have not been set. They have been torn apart. And they continue to get reconfigured to a point where it's unrecognizable. That's what the NFL has been this year. Unrecognizable. You know you, you know the refs are bad. You, you know that. But the inconsistencies... <laughs> of teams each and every week has been really really fun to watch really really fun to watch like you don't you don't know who's coming out of these conferences to be the super bowl you know representative on, on either the afc or the nfc like i genuinely don't know at this point like 
Like that's that's the beauty of the NFL. In all seriousness, every team has a weakness. You know, to the point where it can get exploited at any time, at any place, any given Sunday. And I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm still as perplexed as you are. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are perplexed at what has transpired over this week. And I, I don't blame you. I, I can't. Again, I can't wait for Week 11 to prove us wrong again, prove the perceptions wrong again. So with that being said, everybody, I'm going to skedaddle and get on out of here because i got some stuff I need to finish up here. And I will see you all tomorrow night after the College Football Playoff Rankings come out and we get to see those rankings together. I have my notes ready for this week for college football. And I, I can't wait. So I hope you all take care and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good week. Again, have a, have a good week. See ya.